immediately after I was cast, I was in a workshop with Bono and the Edge, and there I was standing opposite the Edge and saying, "Okay, I'm gonna try to pretend two things now as I sing this song. I'm gonna try to pretend that I'm Norman Osborne, and I'm gonna try to pretend that you're not the Edge." Norman Osborne is a scientist, and he wants to save the world, like so many scientists. He sees that the world is being destroyed by um, man, by pollution, by global warming. He decides to do something about it, and he thinks the way to do it is to make it make man uh, superhuman enough that he could survive these things. And then he gets pushed a little too far, and of course things go terribly wrong, at which point he becomes a monster called the Green Goblin. You hear the phrase uh, comic book character or cartoon character, and it immediately conjures up an idea of a two-dimensional rather than a three-dimensional person. But if you Google Norman Osborn Green Goblin, you'll see that the Wikipedia entry for him is longer than the Wikipedia entry for Barack Obama. When you're in something that people are interested in, that costs a lot of money to put on, which kind of became the narrative about the show, uh, have a little secret that you're just so wanting to share with the public. It's kind of like, I guess, being a parent on Christmas and knowing that you've wrapped this extraordinary present for your kid and they have absolutely no idea what they're getting and you just can't wait for Christmas morning. This opportunity came in and I just sort of like swooped it up. It was so strange. It all sort of, the momentum was really on my side. It worked really well. I mean, it was a grueling process because I just started wanting it so badly. It's like a relationship. If you start reading these, yeah. these scenes and you're like, ah, I just didn't do this. And like the fact that it worked for me so that's made me so happy. And I feel, yeah. I feel so blessed to tell this story. It's like the coolest next step that, that could ever happen and the coolest character to take on. I'm trying to stick, to stay true to to what's been written about her so far, but not but not to be too influenced by it because I still I need to bring a little bit more of myself to it. The score is so beautiful. I mean, it's it just comes so easily to sing it just feels so good to sing and they, they really know what they're doing and, you know, it's all a good and show. the it's, words it's exciting they work with I, melodies like which works so. with the set which works well, with the entire like experience and I think it's really gonna tear people apart inside and they're gonna be like why wasn't this done sooner it's so amazing